Good morning, students. I'm your anchor, Kyla Okubo. And I'm your co-anchor, Kobe K. Aloha, with your morning news live broadcast. Today is Tuesday, October 24th, day three. Please stand for prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Father in heaven, how we love you. We lift your name up high. We lift up our lives to you, for all that is good comes from you. We are eternally grateful for your works. Watch over us and keep us safe always. Lead us down the patch of righteousness. We pray this in, in we pray this through the power of your Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. PSAT testing is tomorrow for all high school students in grades 9 through 11. You must bring the following materials on test day. Number two pencils, an eraser, and an improved calculator. Everyone must be in school by 8 a.m. Seniors, you need to bring your computers tomorrow. Report to the ASC. Attendance will start at 8 a.m. Attention all campus ministry members. You will be taking your group photos tomorrow after PSATs in Mr. Chambers' room at exactly 12.10 p.m. Please be prompt. The National Japanese Honor Society meeting will be held on Wednesday, November 8th at 7.30 a.m. in room 225, Takuda Sensei's room. This is a mandatory meeting for all members. See you there. Attention all middle school and high school students. Do you want to be featured on one of our yearbook pages? This is your last chance. We are going to be featuring a sweet treats page showcasing the different types of desserts around the island. Send a photo of you eating or drinking your favorite desserts to SFS yearbook at scfrancis-oahu.org. Our school play this year is Aladdin Jr. Our auditions are continuing today, October 24th at 3.30 p.m. Auditions will be held in the band room down at the gym. Be prepared to introduce yourself and sing a one-minute song. Actors may be asked to read from a script. Character roles are posted outside the auditorium. This production of Aladdin will have a contemporary urban street punk feel to it. We are moving away from the stereotypical depiction of Arabs. Jeannie is going to be a DJ, Jasmine is going to be a punk, Aladdin will be a skater kid, Jafar is going to be a corporate businessman, etc. We're envisioning the set as being inspired by Islamic architecture with street art. The Honolulu Marathon is right around the corner. Takuda Sensei is looking for student volunteers for the information booth. The date is on Sunday, December 10th from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you're interested, come see Takuda Sensei in room 225, the Japanese classroom, by November 9th at 3 p.m. There are some non-Japanese speaking jobs too. The National Japanese Honor Society will be working there. Let's help our community. Congratulations to our girls JV bowling team for their ILH championship. Members of the team include Jainan Kahanui, Raven Steinman, Julianne Johnston, Chloe Solidum, and Sierra Kupihea. Also, congratulations to David Lee and Varsity Boys Bowling. He placed in the top 10 in the Jared Kaufman tournament. Way to go, bowlers. This Friday's football game against Damien is for the ILH Championship and a chance to continue into the state championship. Game time starts at 6 p.m. at Aloha Stadium. Hope to see you all there. And that's your morning news. I'm your anchor, Kyle Okubo. And I'm your co-anchor, Kobe Kealoha, with your morning news live broadcast. Have a great day and a great week and a spirit of joy.